This is Phil Buckman of Fuel, and you're listening to Brigade Radio One. Trouble. Art is about taking risks. L- listen, guys. Mr. Patterson, your PSA level doesn't necessarily mean cancer. You're listening to Brigade Radio One. I'm going to make this show where I become the worst guest you've ever had. Ha! You got to, uh, first of all, I would, oh, I'll I would take not you strive. On. <laughs> I would not strive. That's one of those titles we, sen- we tend to okay. you know, hammer right. for right. a lifetime. It's one of those things you can't get away from, and I wouldn't strive to be that. Plus, you're too, you're too witty, classy, and fun-loving to be the worst guest. If you want to know who some of the worst guests are, I'll be happy to mention it. Mark Brazil's in studio also. Uh, right, producer. Your name there you go. Next. <laughs> I really, I really uh, Lab Rats uh, also. Uh, uh, that, 70s that 70s show. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just ran in with coffee, so I haven't had any yet. David Nichols is with us, writer, producer on Evening Shade. Dharma and Greg, how are you, David? Good. Uh, although I can't claim credit for Dharma and Greg. Uh, what's the other one you did? Uh, one of those shows. One of uh, pick one. Uh, Caroline the City. Caroline Grace under the City. fire. Grace under fire. That's yeah. what I was striving to reach. Yeah. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Thank you. Nice to have you all here. How's everybody doing? Good. Hey, yeah? I want to ask Good. you about a heaving shade story that I heard. Oh, okay. now's the time. Okay. <laughs> All right. So first, I have to verify: Did Burt Reynolds' hair catch on fire blowing out a birthday cake? Uh, it, his hair did catch on fire. Uh, it wasn't a birthday cake. It was a scene in a in an RV. Okay. And um, he was. I'm trying to remember exactly what the details were, but he and Michael Jeter, the late Michael Jeter, oh, who was God. such a so wonderful. Great. Wonderful guy, wonderful comic actor. Um, they, I forget the details. Anyway, they ended up in an RV, and uh, they were trying to heat up some formula for the baby. And uh, the idea was that the stove would catch fire, and then Bert would grab a, a, a uh, fire extinguisher and, and put it out. And the fire extinguisher was a prop fire extinguisher and so it didn't spray foam like a real fire extinguisher would it sprayed powder. talcum powder right and <coughs> what we all discovered it ignites is talcum powder ignites that's and a good thing to load a prop fire extinguisher with yes yeah. genius well but i'll tell you ethan here's here's the good thing that came out of it is that people actually kind of didn't know that at the time until it almost killed burt reynolds exactly wow that's exactly right and Smokey and, and the Bandit. <laughs> yes. Never mind. Yeah. Smokey I'll be, I'll and be fire. Here for two hours, and, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Anyway, so the prop master <laughs> then went on. He did the crow after that. <laughs> yeah, and right. I kid. Right. Uh, I kid. Uh, but anyway, that's that's kind of the, the yeah. And ambulances came and they took Bert to the hospital. But fortunately, he was. So Fine. I, I knew about the powder thing. Yeah, I, I worked in a dog food factory when I was a teenager. And what you put powder yeah. in the food? Well, no, be, because I, you won't remember this, but uh, my dad and I both worked at Ralston Prina in Dunkirk, New York. Oh. Not to drop a name. But, I um, I actually know where Dunkirk is. All right, outside so, yeah, Buffalo. Outside is that Buffalo. what the new right. Christopher Nolan yeah, movie that's is about? Escaping Buffalo. Yeah. Is that <laughs> the big evacuation of Buffalo? Dunkirk. It's about it's about the uh, so the the dog food factory. You could only have. Because everybody smoked. It's it's the 70s. Everybody mm-hmm. smoked cigarettes, and you had to push a button, and the thing, like a car lighter, would light up because you couldn't have matches or uh. Uh, lighters in the tower because one of the towers in Texas, dog food factory, blew up yeah. because oh. of the powder in the air. You might oh, well, my it's gosh. It's just like people working at a gas station. So yeah. my dad was so crazy, though, because... Or my brother. And, of course, it's 70s. Everybody was irresponsible. My brother flicked a cigarette out the window. My dad lost it. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? If a bird picks up that cigarette and drops it in the tower? Well, Your I brother love- and I are dead. First of all. Because that's how he thought. Yeah. But, um, I so love the he, paranoid he, calculation He, he had it all bird, worked out. A oh, bird yeah. being the suicide bomber well, for birds, all of us. Bird smoke. Everybody yeah. knows that. That's true. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get you that yeah, flame. They like cigarillos, actually. It, what Robin's day, what with cigarillos. What day did Evening Shade, uh, was it Monday, Tuesday? Uh, it, it started off on Friday. No, no, I don't mean the night. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry. When did I'm you sorry. record? Or oh, when did uh, you we it? shot on Friday nights. Okay, yeah. because I knew my crew on 70s, some of them had been on that show. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so on the, on the headset, which I don't know if you heard this, but on the headset, when Bert's hair caught on fire, oh. 
somebody somebody said it in the headset. Ah, oh, shit! I don't have a Monday Tuesday gig. Oh. <laughs> they thought, oh, wow. no. oh man! Yeah, the crew, man. Nobody's harsher than the crew. Yeah, no, they're 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 tough. I'm glad that their concerns were in the right place. Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. I saw Burt Reynolds the night before the Academy Awards. For Boogie Nights, he had been oh, nominated. Yes, uh-huh. and um, I, I don't have. What do you say to some? Like I said, right. I hope you win. And he's right. like, thank you very much. But right. I also I saw Jonathan Demi also before Silence of the Lambs the uh, night before, and I said, and that's terrible that he just passed yeah. away. But I said, uh, I said, God, you know that Silence of the Lambs is one of the greatest things I'd ever seen. I said, I really hope you win. And and Jonathan Demi goes, y- you know I do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. You better subscribe to this channel before you look uncool. Hey everyone, it's Ethan, the Executive Director here at Brigade Radio 1. As many of you know, we produce a lot of radio content with people like Director Michael Lang of Bones and X-Files, Director Steve Sergic of Lost in Space, Daredevil, Luke Cage. We work with a lot of producers as well, from Cindy Caponera of Shameless to Jason Schumann of Role Models to Eric Linus Kaplan of Futurama and Big Bang Theory. What we need is partnership. Go to patreon.com slash brigade radio one. Become a partner today. Score yourself some concert tickets, VIP access, behind the scenes footage, and all kinds of other craziness. Get involved, become a partner. Help us not only deliver great radio content, but also help make the world a better place. Go to patreon.com slash brigade radio one.